he was all like, who, who? <laughs> I'm whispering because it's 4 a.m. here in the White House. Uh, I like to get up early for my family so I can have some time to read and collect my thoughts for the day and just kind of make a plan of action. Another thing I like to do, I want to show you, I just like to write a word on our whiteboard, a word of the day. Yesterday's word was abnegation, uh, meaning to reject or announce something. <laughs> so smart. <laughs> That was legitimately, that was legitimately scary. It's a, it's a little after 5 a.m. I'm heading to the gymnasium, and I was walking out to my car to uh, go to this gymnasium when an owl swooped down behind me and hooed. Now, I know what you're thinking, owls, Josh, they're sweet and beautiful and majestic. Wrong, they're terrifying and they have fangs, and how often do you hear an owl? Maybe you hear them a lot, I do not. And that hooing sound, at first, when you're not expecting it, sounds like a person. And I knew there was no one behind me. And then all of a sudden, this who, 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 who came out of nowhere. And legitimately, uh, that was horrible. Owls. And I looked and his head was all like, who, who. Ooh, but it was going all the way around. It was going all the way around. Lifting. Time, time for some shoulder press. Talking to myself on this phone because it's cool. Um, Rucker, what's your max shoulder press? Two. Oh, 220? Yeah, mine too. That's it. Same. Yeah, same, same here. Same here. That's cool. We're like the same. So the gym is done, reading is done, priming for my day is done. As you can see, the sun is starting to come up. It is about 6.45, and it's time to uh, go home and be a daddy. There's an undeniable mind-body connection. We believe that if your, your head's not right for whatever reason, then maybe it's because your body is off. And maybe if your body is off, it's because there's something going on up here. The reason my car is beeping is because my gym bag goes on my passenger seat and thinks it's a person. It's not did somebody just wake up from their nap? Yes, they yeah. did. You ready to get up? Oh. Yeah. Ooh. 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 Watch this kid eat sweet potatoes. <laughs> Just as a point of reference, this kid ate a sweet potato about about the same size of like half his head. And as a point of reference there, his head is about half the size of his body. <laughs> that big head. <laughs> it's huge. <laughs> what up, bud? Right, there you do.
important announcement. What what just happened, Jess? Puddles, Joey's fish is clearly dead. I walked in there and saw him floating up. She doesn't realize it right now. So Puddles, Puddles is the name of Josephine's adorable fish that she got for her birthday. Mm -hmm. And he's dead. What are we going to do? Like really, what are we going to do? Real question. I'm going to remove it from her bedroom before she realizes. The fish or like the whole the tank? The whole thing. The whole thing. And then wait until she asks about it. And if she asks, we're going to say we release puddles into the big pond behind our house. So we're, big fish. So we're going to lie. Yes. She doesn't understand that concept yet. We're not going to broach the death thing? No. I don't think she'll get it. She's too little. Okay. So we're just going to go with lies. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. I'm cool with that. Yeah. Anything else? No. Is he super dead? Yes. Due, due to lies. Lying to your kids! Oh, <laughs> yeah? Yeah, look at that. Super pregnant. My nephew's in there. Can we get a front? Frontal. Um, front, full frontal with <laughs> Kelly Carpenter. Thanks for babysitting for us tonight. <laughs> You're welcome. We will absolutely repay the favor. Love yeah. you. Count on it. <laughs> do a little jumbly, jibbly, jubbly. You can do a little jibbles. So do a little jibbly, jibbly, jubbly. <laughs> so but seriously though, I want to talk to you about something. Blair Witch Project. The Blair Witch Project. So um, the Blair Witch Project is referring to the jibbly jumblies that are on the screen. So I want to talk to you about something seriously though, Jessica. Yeah. Like, um, I want to talk to you about puddles. Yeah. I'm saving this conversation for now because I want to oh, talk to you about it for, and for, for seriously. So what, do, what are your thoughts on lying to your kids? In general, well, I think that they. Sh I want to be very truthful with them. I don't think lying is good to teach them, and that the truth should be told in a loving way. But I do think that. Yeah, uh, think about this. Think about this. Statement. I do think that little brains can only understand and grasp so much, and at some point, we're there to protect them as well. I agree. And you know, we should allow them to be children and not have the worries of life that we have. Yes, okay, I like that. To some extent. No, so, I, totally, you know, I totally agree. She that. doesn't grasp death, and you can only give them so much that they can handle. So if you go. Whoa, we all lot died. of lot of jumbly jumbly. <laughs> Was not a car accident. If, uh, we open up the door of talking about death, then it's going to have to go deeper and deeper because she doesn't grasp the concept and it's going to ask me more questions that I don't think are going to be helpful for her. Alright, so let me play this. I don't think it's me... beneficial for her yet. All right, now, if a human totally, died, like I, I one totally of us died, that. we'd have to approach it and I definitely would. Alright. But it's not that. necessary right now. So let me ask you, let me ask you this. And, I, and I'm and i just playing devil's advocate here. Yeah. So I, I, I appreciate what you're saying and I'm kind of on the fence either way. Like I'm, I am okay telling her that Puddles is dead. And that he's gone to fish heaven. And now he's swimming in the ocean that he's always wanted to swim in with all his aunts and uncles that have gone before him. I'm okay with that story. And then that's kind of a lie because you don't know if he's with his aunts and uncles. And you're, so you're half do, lying do you, too. Do you think he was a bad fish? We and, don't and he know. Went, he went to the opposite of fish heaven? Is that we what you're saying? We don't know. No, I know now you're kind of making up like a big uh, mythical story. I know Puddles. Puddles, he had a good heart. I feel like he knew Puddles God well. I don't know. Did you see the way he looked at Ariel? I think it was a little... He did look at Ariel with those, with those eyes. Those hungry, hungry eyes. eyes. Those hungry he was... eyes. He had those hungry eyes. <laughs> what look at you when I can't disguise. I got he them. He was not the safest fish. He was not the safest. He was a beta fish. And he was a... Uh, well, he had an appetite. You know what I mean? Yeah. So let me ask you this then. One... Or so we're going to tell her that Puddles is... Uh, is alive and well in the pond behind our house. I feel like this one lie yeah. is going to then, it's going to um, make way for more in the future. Every time I go to the oh. pond, because now well, listen, Josephine has got a great memory. She is, she has got, it's a steel trap up here for things yeah. she wants to remember. True story, right? That's true. It's yes. very true. So now I feel like every time I go to that puddle, every time I go to the pond, She's gonna bring up puddles, and we're gonna have to almost lie every time we go out there now. Mm. Do you think puddles out here, mommy? They think puddles are swimming? I'm gonna throw this for puddles. How are we going to address that? I don't know. Well, if that happens, then I'll have to kind of reassess. But she may not even say anything. So then she it's like not. cross that bridge when you get there. She may not say anything. She might not say anything. So then, all right. So we're just gonna. 
we're just gonna, we're just gonna, we're just gonna let this play out a little bit. Yeah. Puddles is in the pond. If we start talking about it a lot, then maybe Puddles died in the pond. Yeah, maybe. we don't know what happened to Puddles. We don't know what happened to Puddles. We haven't seen him in a while. Because he's a free fish. He's a free fish. Maybe he's not even in the pond. Maybe he yeah. escaped. I like, you feel comfortable? I feel good with that. Anyway, I love you. Thanks for talking about it. I love you too. All right, I appreciate it.